The History of Celilo Falls by Christine Boatman, with information from Oregon Encyclopedia and the Intertribal Fish Commission. Celilo Falls was a large waterfall that spanned across the Columbia River. This waterfall was located about 12 miles east of the city of the Dalles in Oregon. Celilo Falls was an important fishing ground for Native Americans. Archaeologists date the occupation of humans at Celilo for at least 11,000 years. The first written record of Celilo Falls was written by Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark wrote that between 7,000 and 10,000 Native Americans lived near Celilo in a giant settlement. They wrote that there were abundant fish runs that led to permanent settlements in the area. They wrote about how the waterfall was so great that they had to portage, move their boats around it on land. Native American villages near Celilo led to a great cultural exchange between tribes as thousands of people from various tribes came together to live at this great fishing ground. Additionally, hundreds of visitors would come to the falls during fishing season to live for a few months of the year. In the villages near Celilo, lots of trading took place as tribes exchanged goods for salmon. At Celilo, the rushing waters and steep inclines led to the salmon becoming disoriented. This allowed the salmon to be caught more easily using spears and nets. Fishermen caught salmon, sturgeon, and lamprey. Fishermen built scaffolds, wooden platforms, along the falls to make it easier to fish. Different families owned different scaffolds and had different rights to fishing. These fishing rights were inherited through families. As people of European descent moved to Oregon on the Oregon Trail in the 1800s, Native Americans continued their traditions of fishing at Celilo. Between 1850 and 1860, Native Americans saw their land becoming homes and farms for new settlers. This led to treaties being signed between Native American tribes and the United States government. In these treaties, the Native Americans traded their land in exchange for tribal recognition, a promise of protection, and a never-ending promise that the tribes could keep their fishing rights. In 1866, the first salmon cannery on the Columbia River was opened. By 1883, there were 43 salmon canneries on the river, and by 1899, there were 76 salmon canneries. The problem with salmon canneries is that they use fish wheels to take thousands of fish out of the river in only a few minutes' time. With so many fish being taken from the river, there were serious concerns about the steep decline of the salmon population. There was also devastation faced by the native communities because there were very few salmon left for them to catch at Celilo Falls. Over time, canneries were outlawed and the last cannery closed in 1980. In 1953, the Army Corps of Engineers began the construction of the Dalles Dam. They wanted to build the Dalles Dam to provide low cost electricity to provide irrigation for farms, to provide transportation along the Columbia River, and to provide flood control. Native American tribes were very angry because they felt that their fishing rights given to them in treaties were being violated. They were very upset that Celilo Falls, which was a sacred fishing ground for tribes for thousands of years, would be flooded and be underwater. As a result of battles fought in court, the United States government won the right to continue building their dam, although they were forced to pay tribes some money in exchange for the loss of Celilo Falls and the villages near Celilo Falls. The tribes were still angry that their sacred spot would be destroyed. On March 10, 1957, the construction of the Dalles Dam was completed, and within hours of the dam being operational, Celilo Falls and Celilo Village were flooded. The site is now known as Celilo 